I feel like I've finally come full circle. I feel like I have finally landed, or crash landed, of course, <laughs> into my full, you know, chicken realization. <laughs> I just have so much to show you guys. Hello friends, welcome to Chickenlandia. My name is Dahlia, I'm a backyard chicken educator also known as the president of Chickenlandia. Raising chickens has been the best way for me to find peace and joy in my life and I wanna help you find that too. Do you wanna be the first chicken to see the new and improved outer Chickenlandia? You wanna be the first? <laughs> I'm gonna let him in there, why not? Okay, so just a little bit of backstory. I have not always lived here. I don't know how long you've been following my channel, but if you've been following it for a while, then you know that I lived in the suburbs. I had a much smaller chicken yard. I had this adorable coop, I really did. But then a couple of years ago, we got a, an opportunity to buy this land. And so we did, we got five acres and now I have like an amazing chicken coop and I already had an amazing chicken yard. And then in the spring, we had this new area of the chicken yard built and it's called Outer Chicken Land. <laughs> because in case you don't know, I am a huge UFO and alien buff. And I really like to put my personality into my chicken coop and in my chicken yard. So I really feel like Chickenlandia reflects my personality. And I, you know, with the changes I made in outer Chickenlandia, it really reflects my personality. So the first thing I wanna show you is this amazing sign, okay? This sign was uh, handmade by Markley Farms. It's a, a wonderful woman that makes these signs. I'm gonna leave her information in the description for you because people are always asking me, oh my gosh, where did you get that? And so she made this beautiful sign for me and I just love it because not only does it say Outer Chicken Land on it, and it's got a UFO, but it also has Philippe. And you guys know, uh, Philippe was a rooster that I had for many years. He attacked me every single day. He made my life <laughs> really hard sometimes, but I absolutely loved him and uh, I still I still do. I just wanted to make a little bit of a tribute to him because I originally wanted to make this extra area for my chickens so that he could have a place, you know, an extra place to be without the other roosters around because the other roosters were kind of mean to him sometimes. But anyway, he's still here. He's here and enjoying it. So, all right, Bubba, let's go inside. Okay, so one thing that is really important is to make sure that your chickens have enough enrichment and enough places for them to get out of the elements if they need to, you know, in the winter and, and when it's raining. Oh, I'm gonna put you down, Bubba. <laughs> so what I did back here is I made a, I put up another little run and I put a tarp over it so that they would have an area, an additional area in outer Chickenlandia to be out of the elements. So here it is. Of course, I have some alien decor. I've got an alien sign here. Right now I have my scratch and pick sign that I haven't put up yet. And then I decided to put these stars here because, so, you know, it's outer Chickenlandia. So I'm going with this whole, you know, galactic theme. <laughs> I wanted there to be an area in here where I could just sit down and hold my chickens. I could, you know, if I had to do a video where it was like more of a class kind of thing. So I got this like cute green table and chairs and I, it's green because, you know, a little green man or whatever. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's that galactic theme. <laughs> You know, when my kids were little, they had these like little stepping things, these like plastic stepping stones that they would hop from and they love them. Of course, my kids aren't that little anymore. So I decided to put them in the chicken yard. So I have these cute little stepping stools that the chickens can stand on or hide behind or <laughs> run around or peck and scratch around. And then you'll see there's a little uh, UFO that has crash landed in front of one of them. <laughs> All right, so now I wanna show you the reason why I feel like I have absolutely come full circle. <laughs> way, way back 100 years ago when I got my first batch of baby chicks and I was researching coops like crazy, I came across a company called Omelette and Omelette makes 
these plastic, yes, <laughs> plastic coops. They are super duper sturdy. And so, because I had never had chickens before and I was like, I want this to be as easy as possible. I want my chickens to be super comfortable. So I decided to buy their coop called the Omelette Cube. Well, at some point I got a bigger coop at my old property. So I very reluctantly sold that omelet cube that I had. I really wish I had not sold that thing because it was awesome. Like I could clean the entire thing in like 30 minutes. And I mean, take it apart, wash it down with the hose, dry it and put it back together and it would be like super clean. And I never had a problem with mites and lice when I had that coop. And guess what? Omelette <laughs> contacted me and they sent me a freaking coop, an entire coop, okay? And, and that's like, I, I just feel like I have made it. <laughs> I have made it. I have come full circle. So let me show you this thing. It is made out of this really, really, really sturdy plastic. And I know that there's feelings about plastic, okay? And I get it. I really feel like this kind of sturdy plastic is not the same thing as like the single use plastics that are everywhere. So I just think it's, it's really sturdy. And like I said, like, if you are worried about mites and lice, like the mites and lice, the, the parasites really don't like the plastic, okay? They just don't have anywhere to kind of burrow. But anyway, let me just show you some things about it. This is the nesting area. And as you can see, like it's easy to take this door off and to gather the eggs. If you need to clean it, you just pull out this tray in the back and it's so easy to just pull it out and dump it into your compost bin. They also sent me an automate, automatic door. So I have an automatic door. The run is pretty predator proof. They sent me this tarp to put over it that keeps everything dry and it, you can actually move it. So if you're someone that doesn't have like some big enclosed run and you want to move your coop around, this is one of the easier ones to move around because a lot of tractor coops, they're hard to move around. And a lot of tractor coops I've noticed are not as predator proof as this one. This one has the skirting all the way around it. So I cannot wait to show this to my chickens. I love that I have a, an omelet coop again. Thank you so much, Omelet, for sponsoring this video and for sending me this coop. Like that, I, that, that was incredible. I just, I love you guys. Thank you so much. So what I'm gonna do is we are gonna go into the future right now and I'm gonna let the chickens out and they're gonna, I'm gonna see what they think of the newly decorated outer chickenlandia. Okay, it's cold or it's what I think is cold. <laughs> it's the future and if you're watching this, you've gone back to the future, I think. I don't know how time travel works. <laughs> All right, I am going to let the chickens out into the newly decorated and the newly improved outer chicken landia and we will see how they like it. So I do think they love it as much as I do. <laughs> I mean, maybe they don't know. Do they know they're in outer chicken landia? Do they know they're in outer space right now? <laughs> but anyway, I'm super pleased with it. Thank you for everybody who gave me ideas on how to decorate out here. And of course, you know, in the comments, let me know how you've decorated your chicken coop and run and how you've made it yours how you've made it reflect your personality and the personality of your flock i'd love to hear about that but the main thing i want you to know is that you are always welcome in chickenlandia <laughs> bye